stuff's going down. All right, everyone, I am back for another book review, and this time it is Iron Flame by Rebecca Yaros. And let me tell you, I have a lot of feelings, and I don't know how to process these feelings, and I need to talk about them now. So, okay, let's just start with a little book blurb. We have Violet back at Vizcaya's War College for her second year after she almost died, and Darna is asleep and growing very big. Zayden is still keeping tons of secrets from Violet, and the Venon are basically closing in. So, yeah, my review of this book is very good. I really seriously didn't think that Rebecca Yaros would be able to match the insane <laughs> quality of Fourth Wing, but wow, she, she proved me wrong. While this book is not as good as Fourth Wing, it is still top tier, and you usually do not see that with the second book in a series. Usually you see a lot of, you lose a lot of the magic from the first book, but this one, it holds it. it it really does and I loved all of the characters as usual the only problem that I had with the characters is that there are so many mentioned so many throughout this series so far that sometimes there were points where you know someone would die because obviously people die in fourth wing and more people die in iron flame and so people would die and Violet would just like scream in agony and I'm sitting here and I'm like I don't know if I remember you. Why is Violet so upset? So yeah, that's my only problem with the characters is it is impossible to remember every single one. Now, as far as the plot goes, I really, really thought in the beginning that I had no idea where the novel was going. I was kind of disappointed. I was like, this doesn't feel like it has any direction, but wow, you get to the end and the direction is all there. You're like, holy cow, it, it all hits you. It hits you very hard. And like I said, I can't process this. Yeah, you will not regret reading this book. 100% you will not regret it. If you loved Fourth Wing, you will not regret reading Iron Flame. I'm serious. Okay, I know that that was a really short review, but I seriously have to get into the spoilers or else I'm gonna burst because so much happened and I need to talk about it. I just need to talk about it with somebody. Yeah, so I have many bullet points in my review of the spoilers that I wanna talk about, so let's get started on that. First, yes, I freaking knew that Jack Barlow was not dead. I knew it. You can look at my review for Fourth Wing and you can see that I specifically mentioned Jack Barlow would not be dead. He is not dead. Don't let him fool you. Second, when Zayden made freaking Varish, Major Varish, kneel down to apologize to Violet, I was like, Ooh, it's not gonna be good from here. <laughs> that was, I laughed. I laughed, but I was like, man, it's getting real. And like, okay, so when Solas popped out of the freaking cave, when they were in their little game to get the passes, I, I was, I stopped. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what's happening? <laughs> And I was just on the edge of my seat waiting to see if somebody died or got eaten. It was crazy. And then, okay, I just about died on the inside when you find out that Zayden is an in, in intrinsic because how did he hide it? How did he get that signet and hide it? Because in Fourth Wing, one of the writers got that signet and he was just talking and he was going crazy and he's like, make it stop, make it stop. So I really want to know how Zayden hid it so well because, excuse me, what? And also with that, I was so confused when Violet got really upset after Sloane talked about writers who have dragons who have previously bonded with their relatives get two signets because I was like, mm, I don't understand what's happening here. I don't understand why she's upset because I had forgotten that Segale was bonded to Zayden's relatives. And so when he finally revealed it, I was like, oh, that makes sense now because, oh my gosh, so much happens in this book. You. It's almost like you have to read it twice to really retain all of the information. And okay, Zayden, at the end of the novel, you find out that he's turning into a venom. I, I don't know what to do with myself because you have this doomed romance now and it hurts my heart. What's gonna happen to Segal? What's gonna happen to Zayden? How does this even work? Because what? Is he gonna turn into this evil person who tries to kill Violet and then Violet desperately tries to get her love back? I want to know. I need to know now. And I need the next book now. How is she gonna make this six books? 
I don't know because it's rumored that Rebecca Yaris wants this to be six books and I don't know how that's gonna happen because so much has happened already and I don't know how this war is gonna last this long but oh my gosh I need Zayden to be okay <laughs> <laughs> I need him to be okay. This, I am going crazy over here. I'm really, really going crazy. Okay, so that's my review for Iron Flame. I am thoroughly mind blown by this whole experience. And I need you to tell me your thoughts down below. Please comment and tell me what you thought about Iron Flame because I am dying here. If you like this video, please subscribe because I always make tons of videos like this. And I guess I'll see you guys later as I wait for the next book of this series to be released.